yeah. to make sure I'm I fine. I appreciate my sister for giving me nasal spray because mm -hmm. that was my saving grace last week, Kevin. You heard me. I was blowing my nose throughout most of your forecast <laughs> last yeah. week. I, you know, I've been sneezing in the building, too. Yeah. And, I, and it only happens when I come into the building. So I don't know if it's a ventilation system or if the <laughs> yeah, allergies. Talk to someone about that because I feel the same way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I've already done that as well. But hey, allergies aside, Absolutely gorgeous sunrise this morning. Come on over to the TV and take a peek at this. Good morning, everybody. Look at that in Grand Rapids, the brilliance of it. I just put this on my Facebook page. We grabbed the snapshot. And you know the best thing about that? If you don't see it here, you can't. You can hitch up with me on Facebook if you want. Kevin Craig Fox 17. Like the page, become part of the movement. How about that? If uh, X or um, Instagram are your thing, the handle is a real simple one. It's at Fox Weatherman. As we look at live Doppler radar, we are dry. We pull back to a wider perspective. We're going to increase the cloud cover through the day. We'll see the most sunshine this morning, then we'll turn. We'll go from partly cloudy to partly sunny to eventually mostly cloudy. Most of this rain is lifting to the north and east, so it's not directly coming our way. I can't rule out a shower during the daytime hours, but most of us stay dry. Better chance of showers developing for us probably after dinner through the evening and the overnight hours, and some of those could be marginally severe. I'll show you the outlook here in a moment. It's 47 in Big Rapids, 50 in Fremont, 45 in Spring uh, in Cedar Springs, 43 in Belding. We have 47 in Grand Rapids, uh, 52 in Fenville, 53 in Battle Creek, 50 in Kalamazoo, and 49 in Coldwater. So here's where we're at. Here's the severe weather outlook for this evening and tonight. Generally areas along and west of US 131, although it does include portions of Ionia County, Berry County, and western Calhoun County, and portions of St. Joseph County as well. This is a level one out of five. It's the lowest threat category. And some of these storms that pop up this evening and overnight could be on the strong to marginally severe side. That means it would be just strong enough for a severe thunderstorm warning to be issued. What's the criteria? 58 mile per hour winds or stronger and or one inch size hail. Anything uh, more widespread or prolonged, uh, I don't see, but the chance is there. Uh, so some morning sunshine, otherwise becoming partly sunny. Chance of a shower through the daytime hours, but mainly dry. 74 for the high. Let's see how this plays out on future track. We got the sunshine now. We'll thicken up the cloud cover. And as we go through the later afternoon, and especially as we get into the evening hours, there may be a line of some showers and thunderstorms moving through the area. Some of those could be strong to severe. This becomes more widespread overnight and into the first part of tomorrow. The cold front blasts through here about midday. That'll sweep most of the precip out of here. We may decrease the cloud cover and see some late day clearing tomorrow as high pressure builds on in here. And then as we go through Saturday, we're thinking partly cloudy to partly sunny skies. There is a weak cold front that's going to approach here from the west Saturday night and Sunday. That could give us a shower at that time. 74 today, 70 for tomorrow with some showers and thunderstorms through midday. Saturday and Sunday look pretty good, but as that cold front comes through, maybe a shower there on Sunday. Monday looks dry. Tuesday, more unsettled weather. This is what the forecast model looks like for Tuesday morning next week. You can see it's a double barrel low pressure system. It's going to be over the region. All that green is rain. So we're going to have the chance of some showers and thunderstorms throughout the day on Tuesday, even as we go into the beginning on Wednesday before this system moves out. And that is reflected in our seven day forecast. That's why we call it a super seven day planner because we could pull those out, show you graphically what it looks like, fold it back in, and then that's reflected in our seven day forecast. Well, let's see if uh, traffic is super this morning. It's 6.50, right? Bob has more on that.